What's up guys? It's Kat and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm super pumped because we have not done one of these videos in so long and I know y'all love them and I have some great ideas for you. I think, I think they're great ideas. I found them helpful and I hope you do too. I just wanted to pop on here real quick because I did not feel right going a month without uploading. You may or may not have noticed, but I have not uploaded in a month. And then pop back on and be like, Here's an organization video back to real or back to normalness. If you don't want to listen to this, you can just skip to the video. That's totally fine. But I did want to hop on here and give you guys a sincere apology for one, not uploading in a month and two, not communicating it to you. Like not posting about it, not saying anything. I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I feel like I'm also not good at explaining my feelings when it's something serious, <laughs> I've noticed stuff like there's so many thoughts about it going on in my head and like about just everything i didn't post on instagram for like a month either i just kind of like detached myself there has been a lot going on in my life but nothing that should have prevented me from uploading and i'm gonna be the first one to admit that that i was wrong and that i should have you know either uploaded or communicated it to you guys i don't want to take up too much of this video talking about this if you guys do want to have a video where we talk a little bit more personally about my life and life in general and all of that let me know in the comments but for right now I just did not feel right about making a new video and not saying anything and not apologizing to you guys because you deserve an apology I want y'all to know how important you are to me and how important this channel is to me and I do not plan on doing this again at all or like not uploading again I actually do have a video going up tomorrow as well which is like Costco haul and it's a condo update on you know like some renovation pictures and when I'm moving in and just kind of an update on all of that so I'm really excited for y'all to see that but as far as today's video, I wanted to just say I'm sorry and I love you guys and you mean so much to me. I appreciate you listening to this little apology. Um, that means a lot to me. I know that y'all clicked on this video to see five ways to organize your clutter. So I am going to get into that right now. Today is another episode in the five ways to organize your clutter video. I have a handful of other versions of this. So like so many other ways to organize. This still has a little bit of my BCAAs for my workout yesterday morning in it. Really good. If you are new here, my name is Kat and I do a whole bunch of like home and lifestyle and vlog slash like my life and cleaning and organization type videos. So if you're interested, you should definitely click that subscribe button and you know, also turn on the notifications and give this video a big thumbs up and you should follow me on Instagram at CatMeTV if you're interested. Follow me. Has my earring been backwards this whole time? That's embarrassing. Without any further ado, let's get into five ways to organize your clutter around your room. So this first one is for all those little random things that you want to have by your bedside, but you don't necessarily have a place to put them. And you may have a drawer. If you do, that's great. I clearly don't. So I just keep them on my thing, but you can see that's not that cute. So what I did is I found the super adorable box from TJ Maxx. And I love that it doubles as storage and decor. So even if you do have drawers, I think this is a great way to spice up your bedside table or your desk or your dresser. And it's super convenient because you can use it to store stuff in. But especially for me, since I don't have any drawers by my bed it's really really convenient to store all of the stuff that I may want to use every night in there but it also looks cute so it's like decor and storage best of both worlds but best of both worlds as many of y'all probably know, I used to store bins underneath my bed to organize my shoes, my craft supplies, but then I got a new bed and it's too low to the ground. So I had to get creative because the bins no longer fit. So what I did was I actually just took the top of the bin and I was amazed at how well this worked. It easily slides underneath the bed. I put all of my craft supplies on it and I just think that, you know, it's great because it didn't cost any money. It allows you to store stuff under your bed without having to like reach under there if you can't fit a bin underneath. I can't be the only person out there that somehow loses every single hair elastic that comes into my possession. So something that I found really, really works for me is I take this little hook, I forget what it's called, but I'll put it up on the screen and put a bunch of hair elastics on there and then clip it to my keys because I always have my keys with me. So I know I always have a hair elastic. You can clip this to your purse, your backpack, your gym bag, whatever, and just make sure that you have enough on there that you're never going to run out and it's super helpful. 
So I feel like I've shared so many different ideas for organizing your scarves, but I wanted to share with you guys what I actually always end up going back to. You can see here, like it's even got scarf on it because I just use it so darn much. It's a literally just a scarf organizer that I got from TJ Maxx. I didn't want to share it at first because like that's so obvious, but then I was thinking about it and I want to show you all what I actually do to organize my clutter and things that help me out. This was maybe four bucks from TJ Maxx. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon too, or even just use an actual hanger. I've done that in the past too. I just think it's super easy, super quick to grab them on and off and it doesn't take up too much room. I wanted to talk a little bit about organizing all of the clutter that goes through your mind because it is just as important to have a clear and organized mind as it is to have a clear and organized space. If I have a million different thoughts running through my head, it can be super difficult to feel at peace with myself and to get anything done and be productive in the first place. Now, I think handwritten notes and to-do lists are fabulous for this, but personally, I always end up going back to my phone. So I wanted to share this app that I love with you. Now, this is 100% not sponsored. This company doesn't even know who I am but I've genuinely been using this app for like a year and I find it super helpful. It's called Google Keep and pretty much you can just make a whole bunch of different notes. You can color code it, add check boxes, check them off. Taking all of the thoughts that are in your head and organizing them either on a piece of paper or an app like this one is really going to help to make you feel more at peace and like you know what you have to get done and you're going to be more productive and you're going to feel better and overall it's just it's a good thing to do. Hi again guys! I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you watched until this part, comment berries. I'm looking at the fake Christmas berries I have hanging on my mirror. So comment berries if you watch to this part. And I think that's about it. So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.